Hi, everybody, and welcome to the 4-Minute Gourmet. I'm your host, Mark Stein, along with... Tyler Aldinger, producer here for Looks Now. I'm glad to be here, Dr. Well, Stein. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're here, and thank yeah. you for sitting in, being kind of a co-host for, yeah. uh, for the cooking segment here. Uh, so the 4-Minute Gourmet is all about putting together something quick and kind of gourmet-like. Uh, yes. And we say about 4 minutes. The prep time might be a little bit more, but uh, not too much more than 4 minutes as we go through it. Gotcha. So. Yes. Yeah, so what do we have uh, making here today? So what we're doing today is going to be a crab spread. And this is kind of an appetizer crab spread that uh, can go on crackers. Okay. And uh, it's actually great for the holidays as well yeah. as we go into the holidays and people start entertaining. It actually works really well for uh, for an entertaining dip. So let's go through the ingredients yep. and I'll tell you what's in it. Obviously, if we have crab spread or crab dip, you mm -hmm. need crab. So yeah. <laughs> I got uh, some uh, jumbo lump crab meat. This is actually out of a can. And to be honest with you, I think for this recipe, out of a can, crab meat is perfectly fine. You wouldn't even have to spring for the jumbo lump if you were on a budget or you know, okay. you're cooking in your uh, apartment or yeah. something <laughs> like that and you're on yeah. a, a uh, college budget. <laughs> you can just get the uh, the cheapest can of crab meat because the flavor is about the same. If you wanted to amp things up a little bit, uh, maybe for a fancy holiday party and go for some lump crab meat or some refrigerated lump crab meat, you could do that as well. But there's a, a wide range there in terms yeah. of what you can pay. And honestly, I think it tastes just about the same no Great. matter what. Great. Cream cheese is the base here. So we're going to have one eight ounce block of cream cheese. Of course, we have some crackers over here for serving later on. Um, then over on this side, we have the ingredients that we're gonna mix together. Uh, we're gonna start over here with some uh, red and green bell peppers. Um, you can use just red pepper, you can use just green pepper. If you really like something hot and you wanna amp things up a little bit, you could use some jalapeno pepper. Oh, okay. Or yeah. if you're not a fan of uh, pepper, you can just leave it out altogether, mm -hmm. okay? Second ingredient is onion, finely chopped. Third ingredient is horseradish, and the horseradish is what's going to give it a little bit of zip of okay. flavor uh, when we try that. You said you never tried horseradish No, before? I have never tried horseradish All before, right, well. so it's going to be, <laughs> that's only one part of the experience. I'll, <laughs> I'll be anxious to see your reaction when we <laughs> taste this at the end. Yeah. Uh, then uh, we have some uh, cheddar cheese. Um, that can go on the top as, as kind of a final garnish and melt on the top. Uh, you don't have to use the cheddar cheese. In fact, the uh, one that I pre-made for us does not have the cheddar cheese on. But the one that we're going to do, we're going to put some cheddar cheese on. And then lastly, some paprika or paprika, yeah. depending on how you like <laughs> to pronounce it. And uh, that's going to be just for garnish as well. So we put all that together. And uh, why don't we mix it and yeah. see how Let's it goes. Get into this, it. by the way, is the final product. And we'll taste that in a few minutes. Gotcha. So let's start with the cream cheese. We're going to use a block of cream cheese. And that's been softened in the microwave already, yes. so uh, we're in good shape there. Second thing we're going to add is the crab meat. So let's dump the crab meat right on in there. Then we're going to start with the red and green bell peppers. Get those in there. We'll add the onion. Uh, I used about two tablespoons of the green and red bell peppers, and I use about one to two tablespoons of onion. More if you like onion flavor, less if you're not a big onion fan. I would max out if you're not a big onion fan, somewhere around uh, one tablespoon for the, uh, for the onions. But I happen to love onions, and so I went with about two tablespoons of the onions. Yeah. Um, about one teaspoon of horseradish, so that's going to go right in there. And I'm a huge, huge horseradish fan, like some of our production staff members are here. <laughs> and so uh, I, I put in uh, probably three uh, teaspoons there or the equivalent of one yeah. tablespoon. So, so I went uh, a little crazy uh, on that. Once we have those ingredients in the mixing bowl, we're just going to mix that around. If you have the lump crab meat, I would recommend you use a paddle so that you don't break up that lump crab meat as you are mixing the, uh, the cream cheese, and all of the other goodies together there. Now, if you want to, you could add a little bit of salt and pepper at this point. Sometimes I like to hold off on the salt and pepper because uh, sometimes the crab meat has a tendency to be somewhat salty yeah. already. And uh, if you're going to add pepper, which I do like, uh, you might want to spring for getting white pepper. Uh, and uh, the reason for that is you're putting uh, black pepper into a white cream cheese spread and those little 
black dots. Yeah. People look <laughs> at it and say, yeah. gee, I wonder what that is, right? Yeah. So, so uh, white pepper is usually a good plan for yeah. this particular <laughs> thing. All right, so I have everything mixed together here and ready to go. I have a pre-buttered dish here. So basically what I did was take a small baking dish okay. and I took a stick of butter and I smeared that butter around in the uh, base of the baking dish. And so that way my crab meat spread is not going to be uh, okay. sticking yeah. to it. Uh, you could also use a cooking spray like mm -hmm. Pam is one of the, the standard yeah. brands and they make Wegmans brand yeah, and so on exactly and so forth. Yeah. So you could easily just spray it with that. I like the butter because I think it adds just a little bit more flavor to things. So we're going to take that mixture. We're going to move it over into the pan here. And spread it out a little bit like so, just so it looks nice and even. Perfect. And then we want to do our uh, garnishes here. So we'll do some of the shredded cheddar. This happens to be some uh, sharp shredded cheddar that's going to melt on there and get nice and gooey and uh, interesting. And then the paprika, that really just gives it a little bit of color. Um, okay. Not a whole lot of flavor. If you put a ton on, it'll obviously give mm -hmm. it some flavor. Yeah. But just uh, enough to, uh, to make it look pretty and make it look nice yeah. when you pull it out of the oven. So what we're going to do with this mm -hmm. is we're going to take that to an oven about 325 degrees. We're going to bake it for about 15 minutes 15 at minutes. 325. Take a peek at it. That cheese should be nice and melted oh, and, yeah. and ready to go. But usually 15 minutes at 325 okay. will do it. Yeah. So <coughs> that gets baked. Pull it out. Let it cool. I would serve it warm. warm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to wait until it gets cold, yeah. although it would be perfectly fine cool. The other thing you can do, by the way, is you can pre-bake it and mm -hmm. then you can put it in the refrigerator, oh, okay. wait until your guests yeah. come over, and then you can pop that into the microwave. Yeah, I would not recommend microwaving this from the start. You want to bake it first, but reheating it via microwave, which is what we've done here, yeah. is perfectly uh, perfectly okay. So, now comes <laughs> the moment of truth. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get you crackers, yep. and here is a spoon, and I'll let you go to yeah, town a with a little bit <laughs> of the crab dip. Yeah, let's try it. Very excited, so. <coughs> now, do you put, how are you usually putting like that much on, or do you kind of? I, I like the I crab dip, depends if you so I put a lot, it, yeah, yeah. So I, I put a lot on, you know, and uh, if I'm at a gathering or something, or yeah. I invited people over and I made this, I try not to let them see how much <laughs> I put on the cracker, because uh, I don't want to be rude or anything, yeah. right? So. All right, well. I like that. Hmm. Definitely the horseradish, like you said, you can taste the zing with that. Mm -hmm. No, I like that. The cheese, the flavors, and the, you know, it really blends together nicely. No, I, I'm a fan. Good. It is good, yeah. I'm <coughs> very glad that you like it. So there you go. A nice, easy, quick crab meat and cream cheese spread that you can do for the holidays or pretty much any time of year. So that's it for now. I'm Mark Stein, and I'm the 4-Minute Gourmet. I'm Tyler Aldinger. And we'll see you next time around. Take care.